Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. James here from dragonblogger.com. Today I have a little walkthrough of the XSplit vCam software. As you know, they have the XSplit Gamecaster and the XSplit Broadcaster. I use the Broadcaster some. I also use the Gamecaster a little. I do have a premium license, so, you know, I'm going to get a little use out of it. The XSplit vCam is new. I'll click over. Pretty much, it, it it takes away and removes the background, so you don't see my background. You won't see, you know, like um, you could also blur it out. You don't need a green screen. It, it's used with any webcam. I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna click the download version. We're gonna run it. We're gonna hope it comes through. We're gonna click out that, so you guys don't have to listen to that. And you know, 79%. We're gonna install this. I have the broadcaster already installed, so it's not a big deal. Um, now that we're popped up, we're gonna click yes. We're gonna close that out. I don't need that open no more. We're gonna click yes. You know, set up wizard will install it on your computer. Yes, it picks the files. Click next. Desktop start menu if you need those. Um, install. It should install rather fast. Once it installs, I'm sure it's going to ask for my password, so I'll have to log in. I'll stop the video for that so you guys don't really see the the password. Not a big deal. And then we'll be back. We'll be up and running. And I'll show you guys the software itself, including I'll show you the software for the XSplit, XSplit Broadcaster and how they work together. Now, you can use the XSplit VCAM with your OBS Streamlab or just plain OBS Studio or Skype or, you know, all kinds of stuff. Maybe you're video chatting with your friends. You can still use it. So it, it's kind of cool. It's a nice touch. Um, like I said, it's going to make me do the password. So I'm going to stop for a second. I'll be right back. In a hardware test, it says it may take a few minutes. I don't think it'll take that long. Hardware test complete. Camera detected. Press continue. So we'll do that. Now, as you see, it's stuck on Avery Media Live Gamer HD recorder. We're going to go to nine C922 Pro Webcam. As you can see, I just popped up. You can see my ugly mug. You can make fun of me if you want. Whatever. Um, upload a 15-second 15, uh, 15 video to improve performance. Now, it says, next, we'll work on your camera. Stay in the shot for 15 seconds. Look side to side. Raise your arms. Do what you usually do on screen. Now, I kind of move around a lot, so hopefully it detects that, you know, the movement and stuff like that. We'll click continue. I'll look side to side, you know, move my hands around, bounce it around, move the chair, you know, whatever it takes for the 15 seconds of video to finish up. All right, now that's done, we'll click continue. As you can see, it's done. Now, and here's where your software is. You'll be able to change it through whatever camera you have. It has settings, so you can change brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, white balance, and stuff like that. Also, camera control, zoom in and out. If you guys want to zoom into yourself, that's pretty cool. Exposure, pan. You know, if you want to pan left to right, pretty cool. Tilt, you know, up and down. I kind of like that. That's cool. We're just going to cancel that anyways. Right here is the original background. You can blur this with the blur. As you can see, you can go slight blur, a little more blur, full blur. And as you see right here where the arrow is, you can see around my head, it still has a little glitching. And that's because it's catching the chair and it's trying to take the chair out. Even if you go stop the chair removal, the chair is there. There's still a little glitching. Because it's moving, removing the background and the movement, it takes the software a minute to catch up. Not a big deal. You know, it's not a true green screen, green screen so the green screen is going to stop everything in the background. And I'm sure there's probably glitches in that too. I haven't used green screen, green screen a lot. Now, if you go over here, you can replace the background. Click here, you know, go to Browse Local Files. We'll just grab this for a second so you guys can see this. You know, if you move, if I move, you can see the skull. I can lay back, you know, look like a dork. Or we can go here and click the you know, Bros Local Files again. Go to Pictures, you know, my family photos, stuff like that. Or, you know, Stock, Dragon Blogger, 
little Dragon Blogger logo. Just so you'll see the Dragon Blogger logo. Pretty cool. Go back in here, remove the chair. The chair's gone a little bit better with the logo. You know, you can go back to stock online, recently used, or you can remove background altogether. Then it leaves a checkerboard back there. Not sure you guys want to start a checkerboard all the time, but it's there, it's an option. We're going to go back to remove original. We're going to blur it a little. So that's that. And this is the, the software for that split. You know, you can calibrate again. You can change languages. They have a few languages. My account, help, you know, check about, check for updates. You know, we're using the last, latest one. So we're going to close that down. We'll pull up X Split Broadcaster. You know, always ask me that, and I don't know why. It just bugs me, but whatever. Now the broadcaster comes on. As you can see, it's on. We have XSplit already loaded for some reason. I guess it was the cam. Oh no, I was doing testing there a little bit ago to make sure it worked. But you can see the background. We can change the desktop. We don't have to have desktop. We can just do straight cam and record. We can record us here, right here, just by clicking record. You know, play out, you know, new track, projector extensions tools helps you know your tools you got you know plug-in stores my plugins stuff like that share my stream you can share the stream you can broadcast if you want to broadcast it's right here twitch you know set up a different one you can probably set up youtube you know probably facebook i wouldn't doubt it um record that's pretty much that i don't use this a lot unfortunately i kind of use streamlab just because that's my go-to for some reason because it, it edits a little better for me but we'll be using this broadcaster a little more for gameplays with this but this is just the first look of x split vcam so keep your eyes out for more on dragonblogger.com as we do some gameplay with this and do some live streaming hopefully for you guys now with this camera i got uh i think it's either a three month or six month x split premium so we may give this away to one of you guys so you guys can test the software out too. So if you guys keep your eyes out for more on dragonblogger.com to come and thank you. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product.